Hi, my name is Dr. Udramon and through the Oral Health Channel, today we are going to be talking about Radiation Induced Trismus. Let's start. So today's episode is going to be slightly serious because of the fact that I am going to be talking about a very serious topic which is known as Radiation Induced Trismus. Radiation Induced Trismus means that if you have had any sort of neck pathology such as head and neck cancer including oral cancer, esophageal cancer, maxi sinus cancer and you are going for somewhat the radiotherapy side of line of treatment you might end up having some fibromatic changes in your oral mucosa and surrounding structures inclusive of your temporomandibular joint which leads to something known as radiation induced trismus. Now radiation induced trismus uh, the dosage technically it also the impaired function and vascularity starts off at 15 grays of radiation therapy. How does radiation induced trismus happen? It's very simple. The radiation causes a lot of burning, literal burning of cells and you know microvascular structures that are present in the tissue that is being irradiated. You get something known as radiation burns as well. Unfortunately, it decreases the uh, vascular proliferation. That means the blood vessels, the number of blood vessels because of the radiation dosage goes down. On top of that, you end up having less of uh, you know uh, collagen that is you know flexible more of you know cross link collagen more of scar tissue more of damage direct neural damage to tissues which can cause pain also now what to do when you've undergone unfortunately a, a head and neck cancer therapy which includes palliative or curative uh, radiation therapy along with chemotherapy or surgical resection depending upon the case uh, you're supposed to go for different lines of management the most common being the physical therapy exercises now it is always said that a patient should be educated about physical therapy right at the start of the radiation therapy that means when you are going or undergoing the radiation therapy you're supposed to start the exercises which can be a lot of isometric exercises isotonic exercises mouth opening exercises a lot of other exercises using appliances such as therabyte jaw opening cones and a lot of uh, you know other uh, materials that can help in opening your mouth so that the jaw is elastic enough after the radiation dosage or the cycle completion so that you don't have trismus now it happens progressively and it has been shown that it decreases you know, despite the fact that you're undergoing exercise therapy it goes down after six months the mouth opening but in terms of uh, other managements you have surgical management which includes coronoidectomy coronoidectomy includes a coronoid process that is present right here in your temporomandibular joint which can be removed depending upon the location of the cancer if it's very near to the uh, you know the coronoid process it is better to remove and get the coronoidectomy than exactly at the time of tumor resection otherwise it can be done later on but you have to be very careful because it has its own surgical disadvantages of it being invasive and causing scarring of the tissues right from the temporomandibular joint to the muscles of mastication and that's where the radiation induced trismus starts. The main thing, uh, the most debilitating thing about the radiation induced trismus is obviously the speech, the chewing efficiency, the cleaning efficiency, that means oral hygiene procedures and the formation of bolus, that means when you're chew chewing your food, you end up making a bolus and that helps in easier digestion of food. You might end up having digestive problems and nutritional problems. In such cases, it is always better that you supplement yourself with multivitamin therapy and supplements. At the same time, you undergo rigorous physiotherapy exercises after speaking with the physiotherapy department and the oncosurgical department. And you make sure that your mouth opening is enough functionally to open the mouth, make your speech coherent, be able to take the food inside, chew it, facilitate oral hygiene procedures and then swallow your food which should not be a problem so this was today's episode please like share subscribe and do press the bell icon button for important updates if you want to get in touch with me here are my social media handles kindly refrain from calling me directly as i might be busy with patients just drop me a message with your name your common oral health problem and the location very which from where you're messaging me and also if you have any queries doubts apprehensions or insights please feel free to put them in the youtube comment section so that's it for today thank you